So for the plant transport system, this is uh, this is what you need to know. First, you need to identify the parts of the plant transport system and describe the functions. Okay, you must know the the parts. Secondly, you must know the the functions. Okay, and you must recognize how water is transported from the roots to the other parts of the plant, and how the food is transported from the leaves to the other parts of the plant. Okay. All right. Now, in a plant system, okay, what do we understand by system? A system is made of several parts working together. Okay, and each part plays a different but important role in the system. And are plant systems and why? Okay, so plants are system. Why? Because the different parts of the plant work together to help it grow well. Okay, to help it grow well. Okay. Now let's recap uh, the parts of the plant where which we have learned in a uh, lower block, primary three, primary four. Okay, so a plant is made up of parts such as the roots. Okay, the roots here, which helps the plant first to be firmly to the ground, and secondly, very important to absorb water and minerals and nutrients from the ground. Okay, so the roots, the function to absorb water and minerals from the ground, as well as to hold the plant firmly into the ground. Okay. All right. Next is the stem. The stem helps support the plant and holds the leaves up to get sunlight. So the stem here, it supports the plant and holds the leaves up to get sunlight. Uh, and the leaves, the leaves here, right? The leaves make food for the plants and exchange gases with the surrounding. Okay, so we know that the leaves is where the photosynthesis takes place, where the plant make food, right? And also the exchange of gases takes place through the stomata, right? So they're taking in of carbon dioxide, taking in of oxygen and giving out of oxygen and carbon dioxide through the process of photosynthesis, respiration takes place in the leaves. And also in the leaves is where water vapor is given out okay, through the stomata in the process called transpiration. Okay. Now think about it. How does water from the roots of the plant reaches the leaves? Okay, how does water from the roots of the plant reaches the leaves? Anyone knows? Okay, you can say xylem, xylem tubes. Okay, very good. The okay, xylem tube is also known as the water carrying tubes. Okay, let's take a look next. Huh? So the plant transport system it is made up of number one, the food carrying tubes. Number two, the water carrying tube. So you can see here, this is a cross section uh, of the tree trunk. Right, so the blue color here is the water carrying tube, and the red color here is the food carrying tube. Now, uh, if you do not know about the term xylem phloem, it's perfectly fine huh? because it's not exactly in the syllabus. Okay? But you still need to know that uh, the function and the parts of the water carrying tube and food carrying tube. But the term itself, xylem and phloem, it is not in the syllabus, meaning that you do not need to. Uh, be able to know the terms xylem and flow. Just use water carrying tube and food carrying tube is fine. Eh? Because some of you may be confused. Hey, how to spell xylem? How to spell phloem? Eh? So it's not necessary to know. Okay, but you need to know food carrying tube, water carrying tube, and the functions. Okay. Uh, then I'm asking: Is water carrying tube always inside or outside? Okay. In our textbook, we learn that the water carrying tube is inside. And the food carrying tube is outside. But again, if you look closely at the syllabus, they specifically mention that the relative positioning of the food carrying tube and the water carrying tube is not required. Okay, meaning that you in the PSLE science syllabus, uh, you don't have to really know 
the, the you know where exactly is the water carrying tube where exactly is the is the food carrying tube so you don't have to worry about that okay but in general uh from your textbook okay the water carrying tube is usually on the inner part and the food carrying tube is in, in the outside part okay but if it's not in the syllabus meaning that you will not be asked okay about the relative positioning of the food carrying tube and the water carrying tube right okay you can check the syllabus huh, won't you? Okay, so leaves of a plant make food in the presence of sunlight during photosynthesis. Okay, so we learn under the topic of photosynthesis that photosynthesis takes place in the leaves. Okay, so that is where food is made. Eh? And what happens then to the food that is made in the leaves? The food is, this, is then transported to all parts of the plant so that the plant can stay alive. You take note, huh? the keyword here is all parts, including the flowers, including the roots, including the tree trunk, including the, you know, the, the branches, the bark of the tree, the fruits. Okay, so because all parts of the, of the plant or all parts of the trees need food okay, to stay alive. So the food that is being made through the process of photosynthesis in the leaf is transported to every single part of the of the plant or the tree okay so the food is transported through the food carrying tube and this tube can be found throughout the plant okay? it can be found throughout the plant right and next the water carrying tube so water carrying tube transport water and minerals within a plant from the roots up to the stem and all parts of the plant just like the food carrying tube which carries food from the leaves to all parts of the plant the water carrying tube also absorb water and minerals from the roots up to the different parts of the of the plant including the leaves the flower the fruit the the stem the bark okay the tree trunk every single part of the plant why because water is needed for life processes in every single parts of the plant okay so the above shows the cross section of the stem of the plant which colored part refers to the water carrying tube and which colored part refers to the food carrying tube anyone Okay, yeah, red is the, the food carrying tube, but and the blue color is the, the water carrying tube, right? So that is generally what we learn in the, in the textbooks. Huh? Okay, let's recap. A plant has a transport system that consists of two types of tubes. Number one, the water carrying tube, which transports water and minerals from the roots to all parts of the plant. Secondly, the food carrying tube which transport food made in the leaves to all parts of the plant. So the food carrying tube and the water carrying tube work together okay, to transport substances within a plant so that it can grow well. So that is why we call this a plant transport system. Why? Because the food carrying tube and the water carrying tube work together to transport substances within a plant so that the plant can grow well. Right? Okay. Now, question. 